I will never forget the day my younger brother Samuel came over to cook for me when I was studying for finals. He said, I can't believe it. Your diet consists of noodles with more noodles. Do you know that actually cooking is not half as hard as what most people think? With the right ingredients, it becomes fun and super easy. And he was right. The more I cook, and even with simple ingredients, the easier it gets, the more fun I have, and the more ideas I get for new dishes. He was giving me great advice about my diet. Yet, whenever something needed to be fixed at his house, or whenever he had an idea to create a connected doorbell or a smart fridge, as an engineer, I was on his speed dial. And I told him, Sam, you know that engineering is not even half as hard as what most people think. And that's when I realized and understood that engineering is exactly the same thing as cooking. The same way we've got at home, the ingredients to cook almost any dish, I decided to create a company after my younger brother, and I called it Sam Labs. And at Sam, we build Little Sam's, the ingredients behind any hack, app, or product. Think of Sam's as the Lego for the iPad generation. The more you use them, the easier engineering gets, the more fun you have, and the more innovative your ideas become. Let's see how it works. For kids playing around their house to hack things together, or adults creating entirely new products, they need the right ingredients. And here, I've got a very simple one. It's a Sam button. When I turn the button on, it appears immediately on the top left of my interface. And see that when I drag it on, it automatically activates. When I press it between my fingers, you can see that on the software, it's immediately pressed. To create a light system, I turn on another ingredient, the SAM lamp. Once turned on, I can control my lamp with my button by connecting the dots on my interface. And now, as if by magic, when I press the button, the light turns on without any wiring, or without any coding. I want to throw more ingredients into my mix. I want to be using a little buzzer to create music and a vibration motor to do movement. Now, when I press my button, it all activates. I can start playing music with my buzzer, or even change the color of the light in my lamp. Once I've understood, basically cook up anything together with the right ingredients, I, of course, want to go to the next level. I want to build a car, and this car should be operatable from anywhere in the world. So I'm turning on my little motors, and I want to be steering, at first, with a slider that I'll turn on, and my button will operate the car loading up my Batmobile on my interface, <laughs> I'll now be able to control the car and the motion of its motors from anywhere. And you can see it moving this way. With the same ingredients, we created something entirely new. But it doesn't stop there. Once I've understood this, I can go further. I want anyone, anywhere in the world, to activate this car. And now I'm going to add something else to my mix. How about Twitter as an ingredient? Connecting Twitter to my motors, I'll make sure that anyone can hashtag TED Talks. And once it's tweeted out, the car will start moving. And we'll see during the talk how we'll actually move along. And there you go. Someone somewhere <laughs> talked about this talk. At home, I usually want to read. And to do this, I've hacked together something. The light that's sitting there. I want to make sure that I never waste energy. And so creating a new project, I'm able to use a light sensor that's in my hand. And that light sensor tells me how bright it is here. If it's a high number, we're seeing 85, it means that it's very bright. But if I cover it up with my hand in darkness, it gets to zero. I want to make sure that when it's bright outside, well, my light dims down. But whenever it gets dark, it brightens up. 
so I don't lose any eyesight, but also so I make sure that I don't waste energy. And now, in darkness, it gets bright, but whenever it's bright, it gets dark. The same thing happened. We used the same ingredients in a very easy manner to bring ideas to life. I think it's pretty easy to get an email, but I never get notified whenever I get mail in the box. How about I turn on some ingredients in my mailbox? Here's a few SAMs, a light to notify me, a servo motor inside, and a sensor that can sense a letter. Now, whenever I get a notification and the postman comes through the door, we'll see what happens. You got mail. <laughs> That's pretty neat. How about adding my camera to the mix? That's actually pretty neat. And it could serve for selfie. Well, for selfie, I need Twitter again, but a different kind of Twitter. I want to push onto Twitter rather than receiving information from it. So I'm adding my button, my camera, and Twitter together. And now I'll just tweet, Sam Lab says hi to TED Talks. Looking at myself, I look okay. There you go. Let's see what happens. Well, what we've actually done, we've brought the camera, the internet, and Twitter, all in the same frame. It's amazing to see what people can do with technology. It can go from my nephew, who was interested in creating a Batmobile that could drive around in the dark, and it gave an amazing effect. Of course, we had to wrap everything up afterwards, which he wasn't happy about. All the way to my friend, who wanted to create a robot that could see who was around and react accordingly. It was used by a fashion designer who wanted to create a skirt that would move to the sound of music. I thought that was gorgeous. All the way to his colleague, who was more interested in something else. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's amazing to see what people do if you give them the right ingredients. I was really impressed when a granddaughter used Sam's to create a smart pillbox to make sure that her granddad would take the right pills on Friday and not Saturday and be notified if he did. I thought it was really cool when her friend saw it and hacked her cushion together to notify her boyfriend whenever she missed him. It was an entirely new way for the two of them to communicate. I thought it was also pretty cool to see two parents create an entirely new game around waking up, making sure that their children would keep score as to who was performing best and was the best behaved. I wouldn't have done too well in this game. And this one makes me really proud. This is when Samuel used Sam. He created his connected doorbell with the simple ingredients that actually he opened my eyes to seeing. And now I'm only on speed dial whenever he wants to show me his latest inventions. His latest of which is a cat feeder to ensure that his cat never grows hungry. And I had no idea that they actually liked almonds. <laughs> the last thing you need when you're bold enough to want to fix something around you and to want to build something that people haven't thought about is to give up because you're not an expert. Well, with Sam, you become the expert. You get the powers of engineering whenever you get the idea. This is the beauty of giving the good ingredients to create to anyone for would-be cooks like myself and would-be engineers like my younger brother, Sam. Thank you. <laughs>